in today's vlog we've got good news, bad news, good news, bad news, well all in all good news. So it will be a very interesting and informative vlog, let us start it right now. As you saw guys, last week I've updated you about the latest visa rules from Suwanapum airport and it was really positive news. But today I've got another good news and it concerns about the 60 days stamps that you are getting these days for the free visa entry countries to Thailand. And yes, you can extend it more 30 days at the immigration after 60 days. So in total 90 days, that is a very good news. You can come to Thailand get the 60 day stamps and later you can go to the immigration and extend it 30 days more. This is confirmed, this is a very good news for the people that like to stay in Thailand for around 2-3 months without headaches, free visa and moreover 30 days extension. Now, this is, let me tell you about it and you tell me if it's a bad news or a good news. You know that now we are heading to August and September and it's the most rainiest months in Thailand. Yup, so if you are coming for outdoor activities, it won't go according to your schedule. And some of the parks, national parks, closes from August till early October. I don't think it's a negative news because there are lots of other positive things that you can do in this rainy season and I'm gonna show you some of them along the way. Now if you love shopping, this is the best time of the year to visit Thailand. All the malls, markets, promotions, more than you can imagine, 70%, 80%, sometimes 90% on all the original items so if you love original items you love to do some shopping in thailand especially in bangkok this is the time so i'm spending every week exploring all these malls and markets to grab things because soon i am leaving thailand for a vacation so this is the best time to grab all the gifts and pack it Check this out. Yep. I told you, it's the sale season. Well, along the way you can see that now you have Chai Fruit Festival 2024 and this fruit festival usually happens in the rainy season. As you know now, almost at the end of the durian season. I don't know how many of you have tried durian, but definitely it's very tasty. Don't listen to anyone guys, they say it smells bad, it doesn't smell bad, it's really really tasty. I love it, it's one of my favorite fruits in Thailand. And as I said, nowadays you have this fruit festival, everything special at this season, in the rainy season, so it doesn't matter. Although we are heading to, as I said, August and September, but you can enjoy lots of, lots of special fruits if you are visiting Thailand. <laughs> now besides the fruits of course there are lots of free festivals going on in front of almost every mall these days and this is in front of Siam Paragon Not only in 
front of the malls, also inside the malls. So if you are coming to Thailand, guys, definitely you are going to have a lot of fun when it's raining because you're gonna spend most of your time inside the malls, especially in Bangkok. Yep. Well, this week was a very, very long week for me. A lot of beautiful things happened and some of the things was not so beautiful because it took my time and as you saw in my channel that I didn't upload vlogs and I wasn't on the schedule. Let us start with the things that wasn't so good and it took my time. As you saw last week, I didn't upload lots of vlogs. I wasn't on the schedule. There was only one vlog from Phuket and it was recorded previously. I hope you liked it because I was feeling a little bit sick, kind of flu. After one week, I didn't get well. So I went to the hospital, I made some tests and it seems that it wasn't flu. I had an allergy for seasonal changing. So I have to keep away from dust, from pollution, especially at this time. And now I'm taking a medication in order to recover. And thanks God, I'm feeling better now. And as you can see, I'm back. Now this is one of the most famous spots these days in Bangkok. Whenever you come, there are lots of people taking pictures, waiting for hours in line just to take picture in front of this beautiful Bangkok sign. So, if you are around MBK, of course it's very easy to reach, that's National Stadium, you should definitely take a picture. Now the beautiful special thing that happened last week, it was my wife's birthday. We celebrated it with her friends in a very nice restaurant, it's called Opera. Italian food, very classical place in Sukhumvi, just in case you want to spend some beautiful time in a very classical ambience. Sorry. <laughs> in a very classical ambience and eat Italian food, then this restaurant is recommended. So once again, I tell her happy birthday through this vlog and hopefully she will have a very wonderful life, definitely with me. This is in EM Sphere. It seems that very, very famous band. I have no idea who are they, but you can see how people are excited, especially the girls. But we are not here to watch the band. I am going to buy some stuff from my favorite shop. This is 99 baht espresso cup. I'm looking for such things. Let's see if there are more beautiful this is nice yeah i need some for my espresso machine oh this is more beautiful what do you think which color is good this one that one that one i will buy two This is the worst time 
to use the public transportation. Rush hour. guys we get back home never ever go out at rush hour trust me it's a disaster from 5 till 7 the sky train is a bad idea so here it is our espresso cups let's make an espresso I hope you enjoyed this vlog and had an idea about the things going on in Bangkok everything is good positive we can stay now longer don't worry about the rainy season, come and enjoy. Thank you for watching, stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand. Cheers.